Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. So today I have, okay, my hair is always getting on my way, on my intros, I don't know why. But anyways, today I'm doing this simple, easy, bronzy look for fall. Now this only takes three shades, that is it. And um, I'll be using the Morphe 35R palette. Now you don't have to have this palette to do this look these shades are mostly common in any any palette i just use this palette because when it was friday i was on work on my way to work and i was like you know what i need something really easy really quick but pretty that like, i put effort to it but pretty at the same time i don't know if i explain myself so when i was doing this it was five o'clock in the morning and i was like i need to do this in at least less than an hour i only took 30 minutes to do the whole face look and everything and um this is what i came up with and i think it's pretty easy and if you're a beginner like me you can you can do this girl because your, your girl barely can blend for her life <laughs> just to say that but yeah guys um if um you have any questions go ahead and leave it in the comments below but other than that i hope y'all enjoy this look and yeah that's pretty much it let's go ahead and go straight on to the video kind of ghostly but you know what that's mine it's, it's just the lighting <laughs> so i already primed my eyes i did use like always my makeup revolution the conceal and define concealer in c1 this is just like amazing i just love this thing i cannot put it down so we're gonna be using the morphe 35r palette so i did recently purchase this palette and so far i am loving it i think for fall it is great and mostly for an everyday palette it just gets my attention so i did set my eyes with this cream color right here it's just like a vanilla creamy color so for my first transition shade these do not have col colors <laughs> these do not have a name so i'm gonna just have to be pointing them out so I'll be taking this shade right here, which is the third row, um, first shade. I will be using a Morphe M441, and I'm gonna take that color right there as my transition shade. Since I have hooded eyes, I'm gonna bring that color a little bit higher than normal. And just circular motions and windshield wiper motions in between just to make sure that color is well blended. I do look kind of ghostly, but I don't know why. Maybe it's just the powder that I used today was the Cody Airspun. So I'm going to need to stop using that one for <laughs> tutorials. So now that that shade is down, I'll be going in with my Morphe M503. This shade right here is deepening up my crease just a little bit more. this shade right here which is like an olive greeny bronzy shade i'll be taking my morphe m224 brush taking my smashbox primer water i am going to wet the brush now you can use this shade um you know without wetting your brush or anything like that i just prefer that extra little pop and you do get a little bit of fallout So now that I have set down that color, it, since I do have a um, small hooded eye and once I close my eye, I won't be able to see that shade. So I'm going to just go ahead and take it a little bit higher than my natural crease line 
and for that i'm gonna just take a smaller brush put something just like this and i'm still going to wet that brush be taking the morphe m507 brush which is just a little tiny pencil brush i'm going to be taking that second shade that we use to deepen up the crease just take a little bit on the point of the brush and try to blend out those edges right around that bronzy shade that we use on our lid we have hooded eyes i think this little brush will be so good it has helped me so much and before I used to look at people just like crazy like no I'm gonna be using a big brush just because I was you know trying to be smart or something but yeah this brush right here really really helps you out if you have um, small headed eyes or just small eyes in particular be taking the morphe m169 which is just a tiny pencil and i'll be taking those two transition shades and smoke it under my eye be taking this wet and wild smudge brush and i'll be taking this deep chocolatey brown in the bottom shade right here and I just want to put that close to the waterline. I'm going to use my NYC um, black gel liner and just go ahead and tight line. For mascara, I'll be using my L the Luminous <laughs> Lash Paradise Mascara by L'Oreal. So for lashes, I'll be taking my Alexis lashes from AOA. That's if these lashes are so good if you want that simple, just that length and a little bit of volume for like an everyday look. But if you want something more dramatic, I recommend either the Luella or Isabella lashes, um, just for a little bit more volume or anything like that. But since for me, I use this look mostly for work, I will be going with the Alexis lashes. Now, if you want to make this look a little bit more dramatic, you can get a deeper chocolatey brown shade or just a tiny bit of black eyeshadow and smoke it under your eye. But I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to mess it up. This is what I do. So just saying FYI. So for inner corner highlights, we can't forget that, right? Because I always forget it. <laughs> I'll be using this um, shimmery shade right here. Just for that little extra pop. And for lipstick, I'll be using my AOA liquid lipstick and vibing now i think this nude liquid lipstick is just so gorgeous with this bronzy look so i'll be using that so that is a pretty much it for this look right here it is really super simple if you're a beginner like me obviously you can do this really easy um it's just you know two shades um lit shade i did this look when I was going to work so I was like I need a every kind of day makeup look that I can just do it so quick and this is what I came up with and I think this nude liquid lipstick is just so gorgeous with this eye look right here um any face products that I did use will be in the description box but other than that guys I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll go ahead and see you on the next one bye guys